And I'm Catherine Curl. We wrote a book called Haunted Cookstown. The idea for the book came when I was in a chamber meeting and I felt the presence of a ghost in the building. And I know there'd been stories about Cookstown and their ghosts, so I thought, why not make a book about it? And as well, draw people to the town. So I contacted Kate Crow. Uh, yeah, she contacted me by email. I'd already written a ghost book for Black Creek Pioneer Village, The Ghosts of Black Creek, and I started the ghost walk at Black Creek Pioneer Village. And because I had that experience, um, Amy wanted me aboard to help not only write the stories for Cookstown, but also we started a ghost walk in Cookstown to bring tourists and people into the town for business reasons. So um, what we did was first write the story. It took us a year yeah. with the help of Sheila Tricartan, who is a medium, and it helped us um, kind of understand who was in the building. We also got the history of the building and photos, courtesy of the library, and we put the book together. together. Putting the book together, um, because I am a graphic designer, it kind of helped, but um, for publishing companies, they can help you put your book together. And then if you decide to print your books like we did, um, we did it because it was a local book, but if you're not going to, if you don't have a lot of money, the best thing to do is to uh, publish on Amazon mm -hmm. or online. And again, they have, if you're not a graphic designer like myself, you can get the help of the company to um, lay out your book and design your cover. I think it's important to know what your audience is. Are you going for a local audience, like just your community, or do you want the book to reach a wider audience? If you want a wider audience, it's best to go with a professional publisher. If you want if, you have, if it's a local story, you probably want to go with a self-publisher because you have a lot more control over your book, where it's sold, the price, um, than, than if a publisher does it. Um, it just depends on whether you're going for a local audience or a wider audience on terms of who you want to go for publishing purposes. But the most important part is to have fun. It's yes. your passion and, and you know, when you have your book in your hands, it's a great feeling. We were both ghost people, so <laughs> this for us was uh, a very fun and educational experience. Having a medium along with us and being able to communicate with the spirits, getting their stories and when they lived and when they died. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a very fascinating uh, journey for us to, to undertake. And I think, you know, we are makers just because, um, you yeah, know, took, we took our ideas and we, we, we turned them into something that's been very successful with this book and uh, uh, it was a thoroughly enjoyable experience. Just take your passion, research what you want to do. Um, and then look at your options for publishing out there. Um, go with what's best for you.